I'll be demonstrating the procedures I use for making these wooden baby teething toys. Now this isn't strictly a laser cutting tutorial. In fact, I actually use a laser cutter very sparingly. But if you are watching this because you've come from my other videos, it's worth at least quickly skimming through because it will give you an idea of how instead of just relying on your laser cutter for everything, you can just use it sparingly as just another tool in your workshop to help things along. Now the methods that I'll be using for making these are fairly reasonable for like a small handmade seller who's only going to do like maybe about one or two hundred a month. But um, it's not the only way to do it, may not even be the best way, but you can pick and choose parts of the procedures to use as part of your own methods. First I'm going to cut up some European beach into manageable sized boards. And then I'm going to saw it and use the thickness there to get it down to about 11 or 12 millimeters thick. What I'll do to the bit of wood first is to just mark out some lines. So effectively treating the laser cutter like it's just a plotter. Because there's a few cuts I want to do by hand while it's still just in one board form to make it easier. With these high quality Forstner bits from CMT tools they work so well that you can run at really high speeds and just like rip through in no time leaving a nice clean cut. So with the round over bit I'm going to do the edges on all the holes. Now the laser cutter leaves these burnt dirty edges and you can't effectively sand these off. If you try to put this in any kind of like rotating drum type sander, all it does is mash up the, uh, the soot and it just sort of digs it deeper into the wood and you never get it clean. The only way to really sand laser cut stuff is on like a belt sander which will take away the soot and transport it. but you can't do that with lots of tight corners. So what I do is I laser cut it just a few millimeters outside the actual shape. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these then I'm going to put them on a jig and use a router to shave off the edges and make them nice and clean. So I'm just cutting the shapes out now a little larger. You might also be thinking too that like, well it'll probably be just faster to take this and run it through the bandsaw and just sort of cut them out roughly. But yeah, sure it would be quicker, but I mean what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a cup of tea and go watch some Judge Judy and just come back every five minutes or so and change the board over. Because I'm going to work smarter, not harder. I'm making a single template out of a piece of 6mm thick acrylic. Now the way I do that is by running two passes of the laser and I prop it up off the table with a little bit of cardboard shimmed on each side. That way as the laser goes through all the melted acrylic will sort of bleed out and away from the piece. Otherwise it stays inside the cut and it just sort of rebonds and sticks again. So I kind of sunk a hole in that acrylic piece there and I've got a whole bunch of templates set up for different shapes. So what I do is put in the one I want 
bit of double sided tape helps to give it just a bit of friction so it doesn't slide around. And I'll line that up. And I've got some uh, M6 screw inserts in the wood so I can quickly take these in and out and replace them. So with the template over top of the oversized cut piece, I'm going to use this pattern cutting uh, bit with the top bearing and that will take all the edges off. Okay, so that left the edges nice and clean and any like bits that are still burnt that's okay that's easy enough to sand off now now just before I go to round the corners off I'm going to start taking more care on the finishing so with the uh, 120 grit belt I'm going to just uh, remove any kind of any bits of like dirt or lines or stuff that's on there at the moment. If there's any remaining burn marks or edges that aren't sort of really smooth, because sometimes a router doesn't, you don't cut it straight. I'm just going to do those with um, this drum. <laughs> so I've got a uh, round over bit that I'm going to use to do the edges. I'll set that up. I set up a guard just so I know to keep my fingers clear. And you want to sort of push down on the table because if it sort of vibrates up and down, that's how you get sort of tear out on your edges. And I'll finish sanding it off finally by hand. Once they're sanded down to the final smoothness, give them a rub in some um, pure tongue oil with no solvents in it. So this will help sort of smooth out any little holes in the end grain and it'll make the wood tougher and it'll give it a bit of a darker colour. So when a custom mortar comes in, I've got everything ready. So I'll just lay down some cardboard set an outline. Right now I'll just set the height now for the wood and just place it in the target lined up okay ready to send off in a short amount of time <laughs> 